Rumble should be going live. Twitch should be going live. There we are on Twitch. Awesome. And Rumble usually kicks in within a few seconds anyway. Within a few seconds, we should be live. Uh, gang, salutations. Today, today is September 9th, 2023. And we're cooking live stream. We're going to make some strawberry jam. Uh, same recipe style, same technique as uh, we've done for uh, the previous uh, jams we've made. Uh, but this one takes a little bit less effort than uh, I'm just popping out the chat from Rumble, so I have that handy as well. Um, this one takes less effort, strawberries. Uh, than blackberries because for blackberries you need to mill you need to get rid of the seed and I just got rid of some of the seed and we're soaking it in water had juice like stuff like this I got rid of the pulp actually this one started fermenting a little bit right bang bros user salutations salutations how are you doing hell yeah just got off work driving home awesome awesome an elder god <laughs> how are you doing let's check it out let's make sure we're live on rumble as well we are indeed awesome 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 uh, so basically this takes less effort uh, to make the strawberries so we're going to be going nice and chill nice and chill uh, most likely we've got two pots going um, depending how much we're going to use for the liqueurs list na 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 salutations what up what up afternoon all afternoon right so we're gonna make some uh strawberry liqueur as well and uh nicholas uh was asking me uh if uh, i had made watermelon liqueur and i haven't yet so most likely we're gonna make some watermelon liqueur as well <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> strawberry decentralized fields forever. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Jalen, is that you, Jalen? Bang Bros user? I didn't recognize the name. Is that you, Jalen? You changed your name. <laughs> Jalen to Bang Bros user is a serious uh, name change. There's a serious name change. I forgot I changed. Oh, you did change your name. There it is. No, Helen. Jalen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salutations. Jalen. Oh, I haven't poured my beer. I got tea going right now. I'm going to pour a beer. Salutations. Thank you for letting me know. Gang, um, actually, before I pull the, uh, pour the beer and stuff like this, uh, I'm going to do my little intro, give people a little bit of time to roll in uh, because sometimes it's slow mo, right? Notifications don't go out and whatnot. Um, so as for my quick intro, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? We're right here. Uh, we're on Patreon. Uh, we're on Substack. We're on Subscribe Star. For those of you that are supporting this work on right now, Patreon, Substack, and on where is it? Twitch. Uh, gang, thank you very much for the support. We also getting a little bit of support. There's still some people supporting on uh, Sensor Tube Gang. Thank you very much for the support on Sensor Tube as well. This live stream is going to be Sensor Tube friendly, so the full live stream should be uploaded to uh, uh, to Sensor Tube as well. Okay, um, and of course, uh, all the support we're getting through every other mean as well. Uh, means as well. Uh, including the community we've got on uh, Gilded, uh, which is fantastic. There's a handful of people that listen to what we do on SoundCloud as a podcast gang. Apologies for not staying up with it. Uh, not the next upload, but the following upload uh, for the investing one. I'm going to load up the audio for it. And then from now on, we're going to upload uh, anything that I'm not moving around uh, back to the regular routine of uploading uh, as podcasts. Uh, jump back into it again um laying field first time chat salutations supporting jam it's a noble thing it's a noble thing and it's a delicious thing and it's a delicious thing salute first time chat 
Lark Bark, how are you doing? Hey, hey, you all, and what's happening? We're making strawberry jam. We're making strawberry jam. Uh, gang, we're also on Twitter, Minds, Getter. Um, we're on Gab. We're on VK. We're on Substack Notes. And as always, as always, gang, salute to the mods, salute to the mods. Thank you for the support, gang. All the God. Cheryl, I'm not sure she's going to be here. I think she's camping. And uh, other mods uh, may pop in and out. <sighs> oh, look God, I want to hear the cat conversation from uh, Finance Stream. What? Which cat conversation? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> no. <laughs> Capcophony, what are what are you not on? What am, what am I not on? Uh, we're not live streaming on sensor tube. Uh, we're not on kick yet. We're not on pill yet. We will be. We will be. Uh, I've heard BitChute is going to start uh, allowing live streaming. We're going to start as soon as BitChute <laughs> allows live streaming. We're on it. And that's uh, the odds are that's when we'll probably kick in everything else as well. Uh, so I'm holding off until uh, BitChute goes on. We're decentralizing. It takes work, really. It takes a fair bit of work from my end to decentralize. But extremely important because I don't like being censored and remaining on censored platforms is uh, like being in prison uh, I'm not a child we're not children right we're adults we should be allowed to have a conversation like human beings words should not be censored uh, topics should not be censored so we're gonna stay decentralized up the f and yin yang right uh, because we don't like tyrannical centralized power technocrats who knows at some point they may say hey you're not allowed to eat strawberries because you're using sugar and sugar is bad for the environment climate change carbon tax we're gonna tax you more we're, we're gonna allow you the freedom as twitter the ceo of twitter says we're gonna allow uh, freedom of speech but we're not gonna allow freedom of reach so you're pissing into the wind that's what the technocrats want oh we don't play that game right f that okay so as for your question uh what are you not on I'm going to be that has been the game always uh, even in, in personal life if I go into a club a bar or something like this and they're censoring me they're preventing me from being me they they got <laughs> whatever it is a restaurant says this that 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 we don't I don't I don't uh, so we're gonna stay uh, as Bruce Lee would say uh, be like water my friend right we're gonna be be, be like water right J pal 79 hello chicho and all a fresh strawberry liqueur today as well indeed yes 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 oh my god you left uh, to feed cats with Mike oh <laughs> I did too that's gonna go up on uh, so, uh, what do you call it uh, uh, SoundCloud as a podcast that'll go up on SoundCloud as a podcast <laughs> Pill the foxhole is so uncensored. Nice, nice, awesome, awesome, awesome. Gang, let me take these guys down. We're gonna bring the strawberries out, out, uh, and uh, we're gonna get the strawberries going, and then we can freely uh, converse a little bit until uh, the strawberries cook up. Okay, so let me bring the strawberries. Uh, apologies if I'm not gonna read the chat. I'm gonna be moving around a lot. Leaving on glasses and doing all this it gets me crazy dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy dizzy <laughs> okay so let me crack this open we're gonna do oh here let me put, bring up the cameras actually no for this one i'll show you the strawberries first uh let's make some room let's make some room uh, actually no i'm not gonna bring out because fruit flies are uh, loving the strawberries so let's do this guy And we've got another bowl as well 
So these are the strawberries we got from a local farm, okay? And uh, this farm is their bear, their fruits are unsprayed. They don't use pesticides, okay? Uh, it's an organic farm, and we've been buying from them for a long time. Uh, strawberries specifically, every year their strawberries are phenomenal. Last year, <laughs> we were gonna make strawberry jam. And we bought one flat. I loaded up pictures. If you look at, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, Patreon, Substack, or Subscribe Store, I loaded up pictures of how much strawberries we bought for this year. Right? We bought one of those flats last year. We said, okay, we're going to eat a couple of the containers and make strawberries for the rest. We ate the whole thing. It was so good, like crazy good, like wow, right? And we went, okay, okay, we'll buy another one. <laughs> we'll make strawberries the other one came and we ate the whole thing like we didn't get a chance to make strawberry jam we're like okay 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 we'll buy the third one and the third one we'll just make strawberry jam we're not gonna eat it because we had a lot of strawberries we bought the third one we ate the whole thing they were the strawberries were so those after five or no longer than that like i don't know seven years of buying eight years i don't know what it is of buying strawberries from this farm local farm that year was the best year and every other year was phenomenal this year there was something going on with the strawberries uh, we try to get strawberries earlier and they said that uh, something was attacking the flowers and the strawberries weren't um, the flowers weren't uh, turning into strawberries they weren't pollinating properly right so we ended up and then you know we waited we waited call them every week do you have strawberries do you have strawberries do you have strawberries do you have strawberries, do you have strawberries? and then finally this week they said yes we have strawberries i said okay give us two flats right uh one of the flats those two flats that i loaded up the picture for i should have had the picture available here but it is what it is uh one of the flats was 75 dollars canadian the other one was a day old was 50 dollars canadian fantastic deal right but these strawberries aren't as good as the previous years right so for example take a look i've already taken out the bottom of these things right the green part right so you take that out before you, before you make before you make uh, uh the strawberries uh, before you make the jam but then their heads my partner calls these the butts but i call these the heads they have this it's harder they're not all like that here let me see let me take a look they're not all like that right Compare that to here. Let me give you same size. Here, for example, these two. Right? Take a look. So this is doesn't have that, and this one does, right? So uh, they're not as good. They're still good. Right? <laughs> they're still very good, but they're not as good. So we went slower on this. They're more tart which makes them fantastic for jams. So these are perfect jam making strawberries. These little hard parts, they might be in the jam, but whatever, it's just seeds, right? And these will be really good for liqueur as well. So we're in luck this year. The, strawberry aren't, the strawberries aren't as good as previous years, so we get to make strawberry jam. <laughs> That's the long story short. Oh yeah, uh, or a short story long, right? So let me do this. Let's transfer these strawberries into this this uh, this container. Um, what's the best way of doing this? Uh, the other one I can flip because it's a bowl, but this one is going to be more difficult. Well, let's try it out. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, we're going to do it with hand first a little bit. By the way, I've already washed my hands and everything. Washed. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, cleaned up the countertops always always clean the kitchen before you go big on it right especially before a live stream all right but if you're doing something something like this you want to have a clean kitchen everything put away properly uh no messes all right. All right. and i washed these last night so i cut off the green part and i gave them a nice rinse okay Let's see how much this takes. Hmm. I didn't. I, th I. I didn't think the pot was going to be big enough to take all this. It was cool. We had a couple of droppings. Boop. Right. 
so I'm thinking we might just make one pot okay let's check it out sorry let me get caught up with the chat I'm gonna turn on the cameras here so you see mm, which one is the left one this one's the left one this one's the right one <laughs> yeah that's the right one <laughs> oh my god don't eat them all chicho <laughs> Da, 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 da. Um, uh, Kafkoni, did you ever watch Bojack Horseman? Bojack Horseman that rings a bell. Amazing animated show that details with uh, depression, uh, deals with depression, addiction, and celebrity. No, no, I don't think I've seen it. Fifty minutes, my fortieth birthday. Yeah, Elder God. We're going to be doing Elder God's birthday on Monday, by the way, gang. Uh, bring, <laughs> bring spirits or. <laughs> celebration uh you know whatever you use to celebrate absolutely hate you kafka you absolutely hate strawberries mm, strawberries could be very very good right sima zima i don't know what that says makes up wow that's a lot of strawberries ah oh, there's more there's more there's more there's more jack bucky save some for more short oh shortcake i don't know how to make shortcake Elfida, salutations. Hope you're doing well. Oh, let me pop up the. I gotta bring up the. There it is. Hostel Hedgy on Rumble. Rumble. <laughs> okay, now give me count <laughs> since we got on there. We got 32 people on Twitch and we got six people on Rumble. Salutations to everybody. Woo! I gotta pour the beer. I gotta pour the beer. Salute, gang. Salute. Okay. Let's bring the next batch of strawberries. What, what, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna top this one off. Okay. I'm gonna top this up, pour sugar, put the lemon, turn it on, and then we're gonna make the liqueur and then we'll see how much strawberries we've got left. Okay. So let's bring this up. Mm, yeah, that'll be fine. So here's the rest of it well it's not the rest of it <laughs> a little bit more in the fridge for eating we've already eaten a ton right so those two flats of pictures that you saw um it's been you know we've nibbled at it a little bit so i'm gonna fill this up okay. yeah we're only gonna make one pot Okay, we've got to make and keep enough for liqueur. Is that enough for liqueur? Okay, we're gonna to have to fill it up. Okay, we're gonna eat this one too, it fell. Mm. That one was really good. That one's super delicious. So, let's do this. Can you guys see this one? I'm gonna put one more. Raise this. That's good. So, uh, which one should we make liqueur? We're gonna make liqueur, and uh, we'll make liqueur in this guy or that guy. How big is it? This one's gotta contain more. All right, this this one's gotta contain more. So. We're gonna do strawberries more because strawberries are crazy delicious. The liqueur, strawberry liqueur is insane. So good, so good, so good. So let's do this. Doop. Strawberries are here so easy to make, so. Oh, 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 we lost one, we lost one. We lost one, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. That's what happens when you get kitty cats. If it falls on the ground, you ain't touching it. Don't eat it, don't eat it, with pets anyway.
shake it, let it settle. Right. So you can add more. And if we're gonna run low, I had, uh, this is what I've made as well. This is just strawberries cut up, put in a, like a container, spray sugar or maple syrup. I, we did a little bit with maple syrup and this one was with sugar. And then you let it sit in the fridge overnight, a couple of days, three days. It's like strawberry syrup. I'm probably gonna eat pancakes tomorrow. Strawberry <laughs> syrup. And you can eat these with a, in a bowl. It's like syrupy. So good, so good. Like. <laughs> right, check it out. Right, it's like syrupy. So I use this, um, Sorry, all the god, but yogurt, mmm, cereal, so good, so good, so good, so good. And it still has a little bit of tartness. They'll make amazing liqueurs. So we got this much. Check this out. We got this much strawberries left. So we're just gonna top it up here. Okay. So we got one pot going, that's it. We indulge too much. Let's put this guy here. Okay. We'll make the liqueur as soon as I get this guy going, okay? Let me just put this here. We don't need this guy. One less pot. Right. Let's put that there. Okay, these guys we can put away for now. Okay, let's bring the sugar. So I'm gonna turn this up right now. This guy we're kicking up to... I'm putting it at four out of nine. I'm gonna put a little bit of water. Ah, I'm gonna, after I put the sugar in there, I'm gonna put, actually, no, no, I'm gonna put a little bit of water right now. That way, the sugar doesn't go down yet. I don't want it to possibly burn, right? Just a little bit of water, okay? I put more in this one than we did on the blackberry because the blackberry was juicier. These are a little tart, so, They'll probably, it'll be less watery, hopefully anyway. But the blackberries were pretty good. As far as sugar goes, we're gonna add, uh, I'm gonna add, how many cups? I'm gonna add two and a half cups. Like people say, when they say give a recipe for, for jam, it really depends how sweet your source material is, right? If this was last year's strawberries, I would say two. For these ones, I'm gonna add, no, I'm gonna add two and a half. Later on, we can taste it to see if we wanna add more. Uh, two and three quarters, <laughs> two and three quarters. Two and three quarters, right? Yeah, let's put that there for now, because we may be hitting it up, because we're gonna hit it up with the, for the liqueur anyway, okay. The next thing we need for this is lemons. Right, so we're gonna cut up the lemons. I'm gonna put, uh, how much lemons, how much lemons? I'm gonna switch the lid for this. Mm, I want this, yeah, I'd, rather, I'd like this one better. I like this lid better. This one, cause it's got a little nozzle here. See this, you can let air, air out, steam out, and this one doesn't. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put one and a half uh, lemon juices in this, okay? Let me just read the chat. Astro Sweet, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho and all, all you good folk indeed from Rumble. Salutations, brother, salutations. Da -da 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 -da. 
translate. Oh, hello, do translate. That's a translate. Nice, nice. Thank you, Elder God. Uh, Cafconia. I hate strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, cherries, all the eeries. Really? Man, blackberries too? All the. Oh, so good, so good, so good. So good. Luck Park is a good thing. Uh, just ate. Otherwise, I would have been hungry. Haha. <laughs> I snack all the God says. I had some whipped cream as well. So nice. Used to do that. Yeah, us too. Us too. Us too. Astro sweet. Fringe says hello, friend, as well. Salutations, Fringe. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got a raid. Woohoo! Burnt fish is raiding with a party of five people. Salutations, burn, bird. Bird, where to go? Burnt fish. Hope you're doing well. Salute, salute. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Raid, 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 raid. Mm, that looking good. Mm, strawberry jam. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Yeah, and welcome to the stream, gang. Lonely piggy. Yo, yo. Hope everyone's doing great and enjoying their weekend. Cool down a bit here in Montreal after a week of insane temperatures. Yeah, it's cool down here. In the mornings, it's cool. In the evening, it's cool. During the day, with the sun's up, is nice. Greetings and salutations. You as well, burnt fish. Thank you very much for popping in. Um, let's do the lemon. I'm going to just juice the lemon. I'm going to put one and a half should be sufficient, but let's do two. Let's make it tangy if we can. Okay. Yeah. Well, it depends how much uh, juice these lemons have. Let's figure out how much juice they have first before we commit. Before we commit. I've already washed the lemons as well, right? I do a little prep. Oh, juicy. Nice. Usually, the thinner the skin, the juicier the lemon. Mm, one lemon is going to be enough, can One lemon is going to be enough. I want to show you. Check it out. That's a fair bit of juice. Okay. So we just got to sieve out the the seeds. War zone books. Hey. What's up, Chicho? Salutations, Warzone. Brooks, salutations, uh, Warzone. Hope you're doing well. I had the strawberries out uh, yesterday and I was uh, washing them. I had to let them dry a little bit and stuff like this. And fruits fly started accumulating. The little buggers, they love strawberries. We got a little uh, fruit fly catcher as well. My partner made it. Simple contraption works great. After this, we pour beer and make liqueur. And then we're going to make strawberry liqueur as well. Okay. And the pulp of this, I'm going to dump in my tea. Uh, just lemon tea. Delicious. No, oh, Sal just came back from the outside. So this much lemon juice is plenty. Okay, plenty for this. Perfect. And we've got our little mixer. Let's just level this up. little sugar added to the strawberries i should have got some whipped cream for us should have got some whipped cream so close this off at four let it cork away right so let's put that there let's put this here um yeah i'll do the cleaning uh, as soon as we make a little bit of a cure okay so let's do let me bring these guys back 
this here. This is going to be such, such, uh, like, way easier job than the blackberries because no seeding involved, right? Uh, milling involved, de seeding. Jab time, jab time. Finished, dude. Salutations. Is it normal to add uh, lemon juice to jam? Uh, we do. We do. It increases the pectin level, I believe. And um, I don't know if the pectin, but it adds that tanginess. Uh, to jam and i think it gives it more uh more pectin where it solidifies a little bit a little bit more solidifying agent i don't know what you call it uh sugar wise we're gonna add one and a half cups to this okay strawberry liqueur is back One cup. Let's just add one cup. Yeah, let's just add one cup. Okay. For now, anyway. I could always increase the sugar content. Okay, a little bit more. One and one fifth. Just a little bit more. Okay. I'll keep the. Thing in the jiggy. Actually, no, let me take it out. Because the odds are we're not going to add any more sugar. If we do, we got more that we can use. Let's lock this up so we don't have any accidental spillage. War zone. Man, I need to make some liqueur. Our garden is going crazy now with Roma tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. With Romas. I didn't plant any Romas this year. I got the little uh, cherry tomatoes and the bigger tomatoes, but I got two different colors. I got the red and the yellows. I really like the yellows. Yellows are nice. Just gonna finish this off. And then I went and bought another one, a bigger one. Is that the robot uh, litter box in the background? The spaceship? That, that guy right there? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Really. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. This is a 40 ounce, so we used uh, 1.75 liters, so we used about a quarter, third of it, I guess. 40, 45 by 313, 13 ounces, I guess. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to let it sit like this and then maybe put it in the sun in the windowsill once the sugar dissolves a little bit give it a nice shake i might give it a shake now nah, but no i'll leave it alone okay because this one does it's not a perfect perfect seal so i don't want to get that stickiness on me right now with the alcohol so let's put this guy here the watermelon we're going to cut up and do as soon as i give this a little swirl uh, Astro Sweet, we're in the middle of an early harvest of uh, phenomen no? phenomenal, oh, phen <laughs> God, phenomenal heirloom tomatoes for this season. So sweet. Uh, really, I got the, we got one of the ones that are black and they go red. What do I have here? Uh, and they've been good, but I like the yellow ones way better. The heirloom tomatoes, they can be hit and miss. That I've tried uh, so uh, I don't tend to try to grow them and they don't grow the plants don't give as much you got a phenomenal eh? nice harvest that's good to know 
Bang Bros user as a former cook, Chicho, uh, you can use red wine vinegar for that uh, pectin. Oh, really? You're uh, you're talking about? I think it works better than lemon. You can try a tiny batch for experiment if you ever have time. Really? So what am I trying? Red, red wine vinegar, not apple cider vinegar. We use in general we use apple cider vinegar. So red wine vinegar little bit how much as much as the lemon i used in a pot lonely piggy our tomato plants are going mad too we don't know uh, what to do with all of them uh, you can cook them up and freeze them right you can cook them up and freeze them or just freeze them straight out uh bang bros user yes sir okay so same amount of a red wine vinegar as lemon juice okay i'll give it a try i love the vinegar um flavor balsamic vinegar won't work no i <laughs> use balsamic as well is that okay as well oh the only piggy and bell peppers as well eh? nice finish dude i have a problem coming to watch your streams every time you make something you get an unstoppable urge to also make something nice <laughs> by all means finish dudes let's cook together let's cook together fun Warzone, any world politics stream coming up? I should uh, check your schedule. We're streaming next couple of days. Uh, Warzone, we're streaming tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, we're doing movies, and then on Monday, we're streaming at 1 p.m. And that one is patio cigar. We're gonna do a little light a candle for Elder God, and I'm gonna eat some pastries <laughs> and open discussion so we can talk about politics then. Uh, right, oh my god, wait, where did that vodka go? Uh, was making a sandwich, <laughs> vodka, <what are> you? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> we use this much in the strawberry, we use that much in the strawberry. I gotta give this guy a mix, make sure uh, we get no burning. Remember, one time we had the little burning that was not pleasant. There it is, there is the steam coming up. The one good thing is the nose is powerful. You can smell the burning if it's happening. Yes. And you can see the sugar is already dissolving because of the heat. Way too many jars in the oven. This isn't going to be that much. Remember, one time we made four pots. <laughs> that was a long ass <laughs> cooking stream. That was uh, applesauce. We got to make applesauce as well. We got to make applesauce as well. Sal, how's it going? Can you guys see Sal? You guys can't see Sal. Oh no. Here's Sal. Hold on. <laughs> There's Sal. Hi, Sal. How are you doing? Hi. Do you want something? Are you going to do meow? Yeah, yeah. Do meow. What do you want? Do you want food? <laughs> Can you hear the difference between Sal meowing and Via meowing? What is it, Sal? Hmm? Yeah? I can't call you right now, cooking. Yeah? <laughs> Come here, let's check out your food. You want some food? You got lots of food there. Go eat it. Oh, you want snack. You want liver. We'll let him. We'll let him. Uh, what do you call it? I uh, can't give it to him all the time, right? Can't give it to him all the time. Here he comes back. He's like, wait a second. You were following me. What's going on? We'll let him sit there. 
he'll um, if I feed him something, he'll he'll he's gonna eat and go cuddle with the via and sleep. But I don't want him to get used to getting snacks before he goes uh, to sleep and stuff like this. I want it to be a little bit. They're very trainable. Cats are in a weird way very trainable, right? No, I would stick to R W V R W balls. Okay, so um, red wine vinegar balsamic. The viscosity would be like a rubber tire. Okay, okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. So red wine vinegar. Okay, we'll do bang bros. We'll try it out. We'll definitely try to keep it in mind anyway. Uh, uh, Kafkoni, did you finish your DM Turner book? Uh, I've read it a couple of times. The DM Turner, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, both uh, Salvia de Venora one that he wrote, I've read three times. Same with the other one, actually. I think I've read three times now. So that one, whenever we get a copy, uh, we're gonna do a because I I keep on buying it if it's a good price. Same with the Salvia de Venora book, and at some point we're gonna read the whole book. I have the book here, obviously, right? Um, so until you know we're ready to do a full-on read on it. We're just going to read random pages. Oops, random pages. Uh, Arno, Arnold third, or Arnold third, Arnold third. Uh, you don't have any problem with uh, the cats attacking all those plants. My cats would not let me get away with that. No, no, they're good. They don't because we have a patio, and the patio has tons of plants and stuff like this. And I've set it up in a way where they have space where they, you know, enjoy the plants there. And they don't do their business any other than anywhere here. That's where they do their business. Uh, they don't touch the plants or anything like this. Um, I would suck. Sometimes they, I guess cats can't be trained. Uh, I know some people that they, where my partner does anyway, they had, they had a cat. They love the cat. But the cat cat kept on chewing on cords so they had to you know they didn't kill the cat but they gave the cat to um, people they knew that had a farm where there wouldn't be cords good <laughs> Spencer man named them after Salvia de Venorum yeah <laughs> Salvia <laughs> if we get a third pet we're gonna call him the Venorum <laughs> Salvia de Venorum come here <laughs> Capcone I was thinking of doing uh ketamine since my uh, psychi psychiatrist recommended it uh, but insurance won't cover insurance won't cover it. Uh, and where are you at you're in Canada I think Canada you can get it uh, you can get it covered through Canada I mean the hospitals have ketamine that they prescribe to people I know that for sure lonely piggy they're well behaved huh? they're well behaved yeah in general they have their nuances or cats right uh, elegant uh, that story was truly shocking. Which one? Salvi the Norm stories? <laughs> Sounds like sitting in, in the bottom over here. Let's see if we can. Is this getting in it? There's Sal right there. there. Can you see his head right there? His ears. Uh, time to get two more cats. Divi and Norm. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're in georgia damn georgia yeah I don't, I don't know what they would do in georgia thank you very much for the follow sleeper void salut salut i gotta get beer going what's going on i'm gonna pour myself a beer mm. ah the cord jo <laughs> that was a shocking story cats biting on the cords <laughs> funny 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 sal what's going on Gotta get the beer out. Oh, you're via. You're not South Cells over here. Come on, chup chup, chup chup. Yeah. 
Ik heb natuurlijk kitty cats hier. <laughs> if I can move the camera, they're both here. And they're getting up, so I think they need snack. They need snack. Let me pour myself a beer. And then I'm going to give the kitty cats a snack. So once they're together, it's okay to give them a snack. We got this guy. Uh, drinking this guy today. Halo. Helos. Helos. The other Hoin uh, beer. Uh, this is the one I drink the least of. Okay. And they had the uh, the new one that we saw. I forget what it was called. So I might try that one again a few times. And a frosty glass. And a frosty glass. And a frosty glass. I don't want to give it too much head. This looks delicious. Salute, gang. Salute, salute, salute. Cheers. Oh. And I put this in the freezer for a half an hour. Okay, you two. You want snacks? Come on. Let me give it to you. So one thing I do need to do, I need to um, empty out the sink. It's gonna be Speedy Gonzalo. So I'm just gonna clear off the sink. We're gonna bring the uh, watermelon out, cut it up and make watermelon liqueur as well. Okay. As soon as I take another sip of the beer and really <laughs> get caught up with the chat. Emotional, uh, emotional blackmail purring, 100% elder god, 100%. <laughs> They're so good at it. <laughs> the only thing I can't do beer, the taste, I just can't get over. Really, I, I was like that initially as well. Initially, I just uh, I learned how to drink with vodka, with spirits. And I did that for a couple of years before I tried beer, or at least a year. And I was like, oh, disgusting, disgusting. And then I got used to it. It was bloody delicious. Is it Dork Murder Golden Lager? Oh, I did say that. <laughs> real, uh, real McDrinking. Yeah, it did say Dork, Dork Murder Golden Lager. It's really delicious. Like cold, it's phenomenal. Is this like a region in uh, Germany, I'm guessing? Dork Murder? Unsung hero, salutations, salutations. We'll only pick a root beer in a chilled mug, though. Hell yeah, would a watermelon liqueur uh, get kind of water? I don't know. I've never made watermelon liqueur. Uh, Nicholas, one of our mods, asked me. He's been asking me for a while if I've ever tried it. And he says it's phenomenal, it's delicious. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. Dortmund is a city in Germany, okay. So they must have taken that recipe from there. Nice. Yep. I'm checking to see if the the nodes are uh, Breaking down, okay, and they are. Okay. Oh, Elder God's got it for us. Elder God, Helos is the second pillar in our 
uh, devotion to the fine lager inspired by a nearly extinct style of beer originating in Dortmund, Ruhr Valley, Germany. A robust malt, uh, malt forward export strength lager that is complex yet subtle. Helos reaches ma maturity after four to six weeks. Thank you very much for a follow. Uh, David, David, did, David lived. David lived. Salute. Oops, where's my beer? It's over on this side. <laughs> Salute. As it ages, it improves, uh, devolving into a true classic, time honored lager. It is always a favorite among our brewers. Nice. It's really delicious. And the frosty glass is phenomenal. cooking until we cut up the water uh, it is known for being home to two rather large breweries union and cronin oh really oh and daba yes oh wow three breweries there germans salute oh, very delicious very nice very nice um, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. Speedy Gonzalez, okay, yeah. Nicholas, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, all, sorry, I missed the. Sorry, no problem, Nicholas. And by the way, we're about to make watermelon liqueur. I was born, born 30 miles from Dortmund. Really? Dortmund. 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 South peoples. Platonic Plurus, how are you doing? Real CMD Ricky. Real. I don't know how to pronounce the CMDR, Keen, real, real Keen. I grew up near uh, near there. Didn't know the beer was uh, actually a whole style of its own. Oh, cool. But I guess it is. Nice, nice, nice. They do drink a lot of beer. All of Europe is crazy how much beer they drink. It's a continent of just alcoholics functioning alcoholics it's like japan uh, functioning alcoholics i guess nicholas yes just in time i was worried i would miss it i want to hear your opinion on it it's great in the mind it's great in the mind have you ever made it you've never made it 
Oh no, is this the first time we're doing this experiment style? Let's do this. Why not? Why not? Have you done it before, Nicholas? Let's bring this over, actually. Let's do this. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, where's my knife? My knife is over there. Elegon, my father was military. He was posted there when I was born. Cool. Saruman the White. <laughs> awesome. Uh, by the way, uh, Real Keen, uh, you can't post links. Well, only me and the moths can post links. Okay. A lot more uh, breweries in the fact. A lot more. Everywhere used to have a lot more breweries. We had a lot less here in Canada, and then it became legal slowly, and the quality of beer just went through the roof like so many microbreweries is phenomenal and restaurants that are built uh, sort of expansion of microbreweries is phenomenal oh no nicholas sorry that last comment was meant for chicho oh what was it doop, doop, doop. Uh, chicho oh i have it's delicious remember go easy on the sugar the melon is sweet enough on its own at least for me okay done deal that's a nice sound of a melon that's exactly the sound we want for a melon it might be a little bit too ripe because i bought it like three days ago or so so and I didn't put it in the fridge because I had no room. I got grapes, strawberries filling up the room. Uh, let's see, we're gonna make it in that jar, so we're gonna cut it like this. We gotta taste it too, see if it's good. Hopefully, it's not uh, overripe. Turn on the camera, see if you see. It's gonna to be too, uh, doop. Can you guys see it? No, you can't really see it. Well, I'll move it over, let's check it out. pretty good on the verge of being a little bit too ripe but it's fantastic uh, Nicholas Chicho I take uh, it tastes decent on the first try but after two weeks it really settles down to a smoother taste okay awesome we wait for it then I want to bring the jar over I want to make a big one why not? So, and that's a do.
I wonder if the skin uh, would work as well. Like you can make uh, watermelon uh, jam out of watermelon skin. And it's amazing, amazing. I've tasted it a couple of times, way, way back in the day. Let me give this guy another mix. That's Via. What's up, Via? He's looking for cuddles. Look at the butts of these guys. See the blackness on there? Hopefully they break down. Maybe not. He might, you know, might have butts in there or little knobs. <laughs> Those things. <laughs> Crazy. Weirdest strawberries ever. The taste should be good though. Once this starts kirkling, we'll put on the apron. I'm gonna kick up the temperature on this. I'm kicking it up to six. Okay. Uh, let's put this. Uh, let's put this in the bowl. Because I can munch on this later, the little guys. Or. another okay if there's anything directed towards me gang please uh, let me know because I'm just scanning the chat really speedy Gonzalez stuff forgot to bring up the rumble chat Let's bring out a rumble chat Madison thank you very much for the follow salute salute cheers Gwyn 10 110 on rumble I'm having delicious ramen delicious I love ramen I love ramen I am happy Canadian I am happy Canadians like uh, their beer ice cold yeah indeed I like my super cold yeah I really like my beer cold uh, I know some people especially UK I never understood the whole concept of warm beer it just didn't appeal to me seed oh man i used to love i don't know about you guys i love watermelons with seed see the seed i miss uh, watermelons with seed really i don't understand this whole genetically modified watermelons that are no like seedless or hopefully they're not genetically modified but who knows Nicholas Chicho, you can add the skin if you want, so you get more. Oh, okay. 
Oh. Maybe I'll make one smaller jar with the skin. That's what I'll do, just to see the difference. Let's do one more. Fill this baby up. Sorry about the sound again. I'll go gentle. That might be loud, eh? Plant the seed, <laughs> Nicholas says. Excellent idea. More the merrier, more the merrier. Yeah, is it? Sorry. Ouch. Go gentle, go gentle. Even this might be too loud. All good, all good? Okay, good, 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 good. So no, not too much sugar. So Nicholas, how much sugar would you add to this? Half a cup? Maybe not even any, should we add? Well, we should add sugar, I guess. Don't really need, well, I don't know. What do you say, Nicholas? Are you the grandpa for <laughs> karate kid? <laughs> you call this an ASMR stream, cat funny. funny. How much sugar should we add, gang? How much sugar should we add? Oh my god. I have something to say. It's better to skin than to throw away. Let's do half a cup. Should we do half a cup? Here, we can turn off this uh, this camera. Let's turn off this camera. Nicholas Chicho, start with half a cup. Add to your liking is my advice. It really sweetens over two weeks alone. Really? Okay, done deal. Let me give this guy a mix. Oh, might have added a little bit too much water. It's liquidy. We're gonna have to get this thing percolating hard. Nice, nothing sticking in the bottom, which is fantastic. I'm gonna kick this up. We're kicking this up to eight. I'm gonna put on the bib. We're gonna leave the lid off. Okay. Ooh. And. We're gonna bring a uh, little screen thing I have uh, to prevent it from going splash, splash. One of these guys. Okay. So let's just put that there. Easy peasy. Let's do half a cup in this. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. This is straight up half a cup, right? It's smaller than the other one. See? Smaller than the other one. Right, so half a cup. skin one too. I forgot. Sal, what's going on? Sal's back. Sal's back.
beautiful color. Fill it up to the rim. Well, not the rim, but pretty close. First time chat, Frosty Pints. Is that vodka? It is vodka, indeed. Salute, and this is beer. Salutations, welcome to our live stream. Baby nights, good day, evening, gang, indeed. Cheers. Frosty Pint says, so let's put the lid on this. Thank you very much for the follow, Frosty Pints. Salute, salute. And we're going to make uh, watermelon skin now, too. How much vodka do we use? So we've used about two thirds, right? Probably a little bit less, 55% of it, right? Doop. right? That's good. That's a 40 ouncer. Make sure the lid is good. Up you go. That's number two. Nice. And let's do Yeah, all these are clean. They're nice. Uh, so what is that you're making? Uh, uh, that was uh, watermelon liqueur. First time trying watermelon liqueur. This one here. This is watermelon liqueur. So vo uh, watermelon, sugar, and vodka. Not very much sugar. First time making it. Nicholas suggested it. He says it tastes fantastic. This is strawberry liqueur. Made this before. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Strawberries and... Uh, this is half a cup of sugar, this is one cup of sugar, okay? With vodka. And what we're gonna do now is, for this one we're gonna make with uh, watermelon skins, and see what it tastes like. Looks like amazing. We got a huge liqueur collection. If you do my name, Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, Frosty Pints, and liqueur, L-I-Q-U-E-U-R uh, You'll see a bunch of videos of uh, <laughs> us making a lot of like gear. <laughs> we just made, we just did one actually. Yearly cleaning one. Nice. I like to see those bubbles. Oh, we got, we're watching Sal. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Oop, what's this? Oh yeah, that is that. No, that's not it. We want the other one. We want this one. Doop. I'm like, wait a second, where's the strawberries at? Right. Hi, Herzog. Hi, Herzog. Salutations. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to our live stream. Salute, salute. Nicholas Chicho, I would add a full cup of sugar if this one is primary skin. Full cup to this? That'd be a lot. But we could try. No, I'll add half a cup. We'll, we'll stick with it. I mean, half a cup is going to be double the other one, right? Because the other one is a bigger jar. Right? The other ones. This is the difference, right? So I'll just add half a cup to this. We added half a cup to this. So it should be double the sweetness. So let's turn this. this. So primarily, primarily skins. Okay. Like we're gonna add it like this, right? Skin. And the top. Might as well. Actually, we don't need forks for this. Ooh. 
Oh, I almost stepped on you, Sal. What you doing down there? We'll see what this tastes like. Nicholas, ah, oh, I never seen it. Uh, was smaller, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, things that I'm trying out, I usually make the liqueurs in the smaller bottles. Once they're true tested, uh, I uh, go with the large. nice I can't imagine the watermelon skin one tasting nice uh, watermelon skin jam is amazing really good really good uh, but it's the you don't keep the green part with the jam you shave it off the white part so you're taking this chunk of it if I recall correctly uh, but this one is liqueur so we'll keep the whole thing in there right El Fida Chicho what are the chances of uh, uh, self-made liqueur going bad? A couple of years ago, I've uh, made strawberry liqueur into a car carafe. I don't know what a carafe is. Since the carafe won't close fully, I taped uh, tape so no air would go in. A year or so, I just closed it with a lid without tape. Uh, not sure if it's still good or not the smell is okay it should be okay like i have jars that aren't perfectly sealed it's vodka and sugar that's like preservative glore right it's alcohol and sugar so it should be fine but you know uh, do what you think is right right but i, I would keep it <laughs> all right What's this guy? Oh, look at this. The strawberries uh, brought out the uh, fruit flies a little bit. Let's do half a cup in this too. Half a cup. why I assumed as well but wanted to ask the expert expert yeah uh, yeah I, I wouldn't throw it away I, I would keep it unless the you know there's rust involved with the jar lid rusting and stuff like this uh, otherwise it's just vodka and we ha I actually have a fair bit of liqueurs like that it looks pretty with the greens No, take a look. I'm not going to use this one because it has a little bit of. See this guy right there. See that guy right there. See that? Just the in focuses right there. So I'm not going to use that one. 
because it might rust, right? So I can use this for other things, just, uh, what do you call it? Not, uh, not something that I'm gonna seal for a long time, right? Good thing I got a whole bunch here that we're gonna use. No, oh, we're not going to use that one. That one's done. But this one we're going to use. Clean one. Right? Take a look. This thing's puffing up. Right. Perfect. Exactly what we want. But you got to be careful with this. Otherwise, it'll just go spill over. I hope it uh, smells as good as it looks. You mean tastes as good as it looks? <laughs> oh, this, yeah, 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 yeah. It smells amazing. It, like strawberry cooking with sugar. Like fantastic. Carkle, carkle, carkle. Uh, baby nice so I just googled why is good to put a liquor in the Sun and it says that you shouldn't do that uh, but still haven't found any answer on what does the Sun do to the liquor well it's not liquor it's liqueur we're doing this just for a day or two if if the sugar is not dissolving like in the Sun you put it in the Sun for a little bit dissolves the sugar then you give it a shake and the sweetness goes all the way through but you don't keep it always in the sun you don't want your liqueur to always be in the sun that being said you can definitely use the sun to do cooking right crystal rose bear salutations welcome or bear or beer <laughs> bear i think salutations well thank you for the follow you can you definitely use the sun to do some of your uh preserving i know uh, uh my mom and their gra my grandma and my great grandma one of the recipes i haven't done myself i gotta do they used to do is garlic they put garlic in i think vinegar and then they put it in the sun for like a month or two months or something like that and it cooks it up it was amazing i gotta get that recipe from her uh, so i know how to do that thing but it was amazing like medicine Okay, I gotta turn this down again because it's gonna go. So I'm kicking this down to a four. Okay, I'm gonna leave leave this open because uh, I want I want the liquidity to reduce a little bit. It's still fairly liquid. It's hot, so it's gonna be liquid uh, because it's curdling as well. If you put a lid on this right now, within seconds it's gonna go. It's gonna spill over. Okay. So be careful spillover jam what a mess it's it's not it's not happy it's not a good time it's a bad time right uh baby nice oh okay that clears some things up thanks my pleasure my pleasure moi cannon first time chat salute salute welcome to our live stream you are the man keep streaming and advertise your channel <laughs> well dude thanks <laughs> Hope it grows. Thank you very much. We'll do. We're going to be doing this for a long time. I'm like a bulldog. Unless I bite in, I don't like go. Unless I want to. Oh my God. I once cooked breakfast in the desert with just a cast iron skillet. Nice. Eggs under the sun. Look at this thing. Let's see. It's cooking up. Look at that. Now we've got to wash this thing mad. Look at the butts on these. My my partner calls them the butts. Look at that. <laughs> the dark part. It's just the seeds. So we'll see what the jam is like when, when we do this. Look at this one. Look at that. <laughs> I should have maybe cut off the butts as well. <laughs> Adiopolis. Hey, Chicho. Uh, I bought a box of Roma uh, tomatoes. I was going to throw them in the freezer and take some out as needed defrost and make pasta sauce nice 
uh, would you suggest uh, suggest a way I guess preparation or just throw uh, them in a bag and in the freezer um, wash them whatever you do wash them right um, it when I've frozen um, tomatoes I just take out the green part wash them let it dry and then throw in the freezer but I've heard one thing you should do um, as well if you freeze them is blanch them I guess put them in dip them in hot water uh, I've never done look into that elder God might know elder God might know okay or if anyone in the chat anyone in the chat thanks yeah elder God might know uh, probably will know but I've done uh, um, I've usually just clean them wash them put them in the freezer okay sometimes I just cook it up cook it reduce it and then put it in the freezer you got your sauce you do right what was your line of work sir just curious um, I studied uh, environmental well I studied geophysics not environmental I studied geophysics uh, so I got an honors degree in geophysics and mathematics I did 10 years of that and for the last 25 plus years I've been teaching mathematics privately non centralized institution and I've been making uh, content for the last since 2006 blogging since 2005 so 18 years of being online and writing about whatever i feel like writing about this is great look at the foaminess of this thing all right j pal yes cook now then freeze or jar the sauce for later yeah yeah i would say cook you can uh reduce the amount of space you're taking up in the freezer right but it's okay to throw them in the in the freezer as uh, as you do as well baking soda baby nice baking soda is a good way to remove pesticides from vegetables i heard yeah yeah it is my mom uses it soaks them in baking soda not, not like baking soda but baking soda in water dissolved in water and uh, and then you give them a rinse and you're done right this we've got to keep on uh, shaking often now right as we do good thing we finished the liquor this you can shake actually I'll probably shake the watermelon the other one too right nice looks great right looks great Sal what's the school no more snacks for you uh-uh-uh uh-uh-uh here's the watermelon straight up no skin yeah. let's make sure this is not going to spill over look at the movement on that it's hypnotic like look at that looks super cool eh? yeah we'll leave this off for a second I should have a little bit of sugar on this I have this guy ready if it starts flowing over Should have a camera right up top here just filming the whole thing nicholas uh, chicho the skin watermelon looks really cool in the jar yeah 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 beautiful pattern visual asmr beautiful melons thanks plutonic pluralist this is for the tips i don't know what is elder god it's not necessary to blanch them but it can help with um, maintenance of the color of the tomato that's why they do it okay okay I wasn't sure why they did it I was like thinking maybe they did it they blanched them because they want to get rid of the skin oh I got a scoop 
up some of this foam. I'm gonna scoop up some of this foam, gang. This foam is amazing. <coughs> I'm gonna scoop up some of the foam. Strawberry jam foam. Yes, please. Like I've always thought, throw this in the freezer and it'd be like strawberry foam jam. Should we try it out? Let's do it. I never have, I usually just put it on the side. It still maintains the foam, but just put it in the freezer. Maybe it maintains it better. It should. Stop. No more snacks for you, come on. Sal's <laughs> hovering. Sal's like, did we get more? Oh my god, a Persian told me, uh, told me that tip. Oh, a Persian told you that tip, okay. Persian cuisine, man. Persian cuisine is phenomenal. Some of the best... I don't, I don't know if I can call them chefs, but people that cook are Persians. They're, they can be amazing chefs. Science, science. Oh, what's this? Hey baby, I don't know this Raquel. <laughs> I have no idea. Riley Smiley. Uh, Slapa fish. Slap a fish. Salute. Welcome to our live stream. Strawberry. Strawberry. Nice. For me now. It fast. Come on, Sal. Oh, there he goes. Watermelon in the fridge. Yummy slap of fish. Yeah, it's super delicious. We've been going ballistic on strawberries for the last few days. Botan, I've never been to a Persian restaurant so far. We'll try to find one. I try to find one, but it's uh, Persian restaurants. They could be okay, but uh, you don't get the best food in a Persian restaurant. Best, best Persian food in a Persian restaurant. I know people who haven't eaten Persian food. They go, oh, a Persian restaurant is amazing. No. If the best Persian food is in people's home, without a doubt, like, like it doesn't even come close. So Persian restaurants in general, in my part of the world, they're ghetto Persian food. They're not very good. They're okay. The la Actually, if you go to a Persian restaurant, one of the staple foods that you get shish kebabs for sure you can try it out and stuff like this sometimes they're really good sometimes right but one food that they have in a persian restaurant that is usually the best tasting one even if they're not good right even if they're not good it's really hard to mess this one up and uh they're very good at it they cook lamb really well so what you want to do is get lamb shank with bala polo Bagla polo is rice with greens, uh, herbs and stuff, and uh, gonbanzo gon beans, <laughs> the flat broad beans. Okay, so bagla polo is what you want. Uh, bagla polo is what you want. 
Raid, raid, raid. Salute, salute. Splash of Fish 69 is raiding with a party of 12. Salute. Welcome to our live stream. And gang, welcome to our live stream. Thank you for the raid. Slap a fish. Raido, Raido. Those who slap fishes, those are we. Oh, there's a Bob Ross picture in it. Awesome. Those are who fish. We are not here to do your dishes. Bob Ross, so hand over all your fishes. Awesome. This is one of the best rates ever. I swear. Phenomenal. Nice. Got the Bob Ross. Have you seen my ASMR math videos? <laughs> flat beans, flat beans, flat beans. Uh -huh, fisherman, thank you. Made it myself. Awesome, awesome, fantastic, man. They used to call me, by the way, uh, slap a fish. Uh, I make, I, I've been making math videos on SensorTube. SensorTube is YouTube. And I've been making math videos since 2006, 2007, right? And then I started making, initially I was making chalk and graffiti and stuff like this, urban math, like going graffiti style math in the city and stuff. Fantastic videos, by the way. And then I started making ASMR math videos by request. And people started calling me the Bob Ross of ASMR math. <laughs> so huge respect, huge respect. Oh my god, I haven't. You haven't? Oh, it's slamming fish, dude. Awesome, awesome. Food looks great. That's amazing. Strawberry jam, strawberry jam. Go, go. <laughs> that is crazy, slamming fish. They're amazing. Check out, check out the best trigonometry, educational video, instructional video, uh, teaching video you'll find on SensorTube online. Okay. Ace, uh, it's, it's my playlist, trigonometry playlist. Okay, that's what I started making hardcore ASMR video, math ASMR videos with, right? The best set of video, I'm not done with it. It's been a while, but I'm not done with it. It's the best videos you'll find to explain to you what trigonometry is, specifically grade 12 trigonometry circles and all that jazz, right? And it's Bob Ross style, <laughs> ASMR style. Nice, nice. Okay, gang, let's get the stuff, uh, let's get the show on the road. What you got in your mouth? <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> what you got there? Let me see, let me see. Okay, good. Let me wash my hands. Kitty cats. Kitty, kitty, <laughs> two kitties. His brother's here too. There's, it's, it's Sal and Via. It's Sal Via. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, let me put these in the fridge, the watermelon in the fridge. <laughs> This strawberry smell is uh, driving me nuts. I gotta have some strawberries. This is the strawberries with the sugar on top. Just as a snack I've been eating. I got some lentils made here as well. Lentils with onions is really good. But I already had some of that today. It's delicious. Lentils with onions, you cook them up. So good, so good. But I need some watermelon. I need some strawberries. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good. Right. Salute, gang. Mm. Very good. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to clear this up. We don't need 
this way. on mixing this up mm, we're gonna get the water going so check this out we're gonna do our usual system whoa it's 15 years ago splash a fish yeah 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 i've been doing my thing for a while brother or sister of course right or sister of course um so i'm gonna get the lids going for our thing right so i got the lids the tops in this i'm gonna boil some water put it on there and I'm going to do the double pot system with this, right? So I'm going to put boiling water in this, this and that. And so sterilization, right? So let's get the water boiling. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? Strawberry jam is the best jam. Strawberry jam is amazing. Blackberry jam is amazing too. Quince jam is amazing too. strawberries with sugar soaked in sugar and sat overnight is amazing too it's super delicious super delicious very good give this a mix oh this foam is looking good I gotta check the foam in the freezer Chicho and Plutonic where Chicho is an internet better. Yeah. I've been online since eTalk and Unix in the late 1980s. Right? My first website I ever had was in 1994? 94? 93? 94? Something like that. Right? And it was a it was a dating site. Persian love connection and Armenian love connection. They were dating sites where we had it was static. Nine hundred number dating sites. Tough going. I was seven in 1994. You couldn't have joined our website. No dating Persian girls when you're seven years old. Bad boy. Super yummy. Wow. That's so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you weren't born. I, Herzog, you weren't born. Maybe you were the twinkle in someone's eye on a Persian love connection. Did your parents meet on the Persian love connection? <laughs> Oh God, I was 21, so Persian girls would have been most welcome indeed. Salute, salute. Okay, the water's boiling. I gotta make sure it doesn't go too crazy. Wanna, don't want it to be too loud. Uh, Pluton, is there an archive of Armenian Persian romantic internet site? I don't know. I have no idea. The truth. Back then, there wasn't an archive. Like, archive.org didn't come to be until like mid 2000s, I think. Maybe early 2000s. Okay, this is boiling. So, let's move this for a second. Deal with this. Let's bring this over. This over. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna pour boiling water on top of these, right? I'm not sure one of these I'm gonna take out. This one's a dead. this in there. I'll show it to you guys. Fill this up. Perfect. That's good enough. So this is what I do. Double pot system with the lids on, on top there and those guys there. I'm just going to put it on the element and just let it remain hot so it sterilizes it, right? I'm going to give this one a mix. Nice. Let's bring out the foam. Let's bring out the foam. Nicholas Chicho, uh, for that jam foam, uh, you could turn it into a strawberry uh, sorbet add three egg whites and one teaspoon of lemon juice per 200 grams of foam mix and freeze for three hours that sounds amazing i gotta taste the foam what you two kitty cats doing here you guys are like spoiled right now check this out you gotta give me that recipe in uh on gilded nicholas i'll try it out check this out so good look at this okay let's try it out oh yeah baby look at that look at that that's looking good texture okay that's good but look at this look at that <laughs> oh my oh my oh my Wow. <laughs> oh my God. This is amazing. So good. Mm. Bubbles in the mouth of strawberry goodness. Damn. Okay. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to take another round of a little bit of foam. And I'm going to keep it in the freezer for my partner to try out. Okay, check this out. I ate the whole thing. Holy schmolies. So good, so good. Okay, come on, foam. we got to get some. that's good okay it's going to be so tempting okay now what we need to do I need to turn on the oven okay I have the jars in the oven as before right so I'm gonna kick it up and apologies the fans gonna kick in okay so I'm gonna kick this up to 300 Give this a mix. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. Well, I'm not reading the chat. Just because we gotta get the show on the road. I'm kicking up the temperature on the lids a little bit. I want the water to be a little bit bubbling. Okay. 
I Herzog stumbled upon your stream by chance really enjoying the vibe awesome awesome salutations I Herzog salute 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 <sighs> slap a fish I have to go to bed have a super duper nice stream you are so cozy thank you very much slap a fish and thank you for the raid salute salute sweet dreams by the way everyone's saying thanks slap a fish thanks for dropping by you really sound like bob ross <laughs> awesome <laughs> smart SRC, SRCL, I don't know what that stands for. S circle, smart, smart. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the compliment. Appreciate it. Bob Ross rocked. And you know about Bob Ross history, right? He used to be a drill sergeant. And the reason he started painting and talking really softly is because he was yelling for most of his life doing drill sergeanty stuff. And then he didn't like the vibe and he said that's it i'm not gonna yell anymore i he quit his drill sergeant job and started painting and making well at the time just painting chill videos right furry band 22 first time chat salute salute what are you cooking strawberry jam strawberry jam delicious strawberry jam and we tasted it you know what i gotta put some in a little container Put it in the freezer. Cats are just hovering. Oh, you can't see them. Oh, I can't mess around with the camera right now. I'm doing too many things at once. Hold on. Let me put this in the freezer. If you want to know, I'm just gonna put one strawberry thing. If you want to know your jam is ready uh, before you start the jarring process, because it looks really liquidy, but it's hot, right? So you take a little bit, put it in the freezer and uh, and just let it solidify a little bit see if the texture time is what you want uh, or the texture time the texture is what you want <laughs> texture time i read <laughs> beer time <laughs> texture time joe joe buckeye salute salute the heat is on. Delicious. I got one more beer in the fridge. I don't know if I'm going to crack it open. I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, Plutonko, so have you been a drill math instructor back then, Chicho? No, no. I've always been chill in my teaching math. If any time I lost my cool, I got really pissed off on myself for a long time. No, no, no. Um, uh, frosty pints is asking are you using frozen strawberries no uh using uh, fresh strawberries that we bought two days ago i think two days ago i bought them one of the flats if you go to um either patreon substack subscribe star uh if you go to uh, you know if you go uh, patreon if you scroll down like two posts down um you'll see the pictures that i posted uh, there are two flats one of them was a day old at the time and the other one was that day they picked it in the morning so that was like two days ago three days ago um, and they're from a local farm they're unsprayed okay so no sprays no pesticides and they were organic so organic unsprayed strawberries local uh, fresh right uh, not frozen no Nicholas did you know if you combined goat coffee salute thank you very much for the follow cheers i gotta bring up the rumble chat again hold on a second gang rumble chat where are you at the rumble chat where are you at and there it is I'll go to Australia. You say tomato, I say tomato. Funny, funny, funny. Uh, Nicholas, did you know if you combine all Bob Ross paintings, you are not, they are no, not different paintings, but rather one giant painting 
that if you combine them on video one after another it takes you to a it takes you takes you on a stroll through a mountainous forest scene that man had a long term are you serious Nicholas what the F I had no idea what has someone done this is there a video on it <laughs> no way really brilliant brilliant geniuses do things uh, on the down low right splash fish is in Norwegian I wonder if they uh, do fishing streams maybe <laughs> McTagger UK salutations thank you very very much for the follow salute salute welcome to our live stream Cheryl how you doing salute Cheryl we made uh, strawberry liqueur we made watermelon liqueur and we made watermelon skin liqueur I just got home from playing in the woods nice nice time to be playing in the woods late fall late summer fall early fall with the leaves turning man beautiful 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 Nicholas baby nice says I don't believe that to Nicholas regarding Bob Ross <laughs> Nicholas Chicho yeah I just search uh, search it online there's a couple of them seriously okay baby nights uh, you know uh, what did what did I say uh, pics or it didn't happen a video or, if it, or it didn't happen looks like the video is out there right Kind of Bob, Bob Ross fractal, haha. <laughs> Plutonic Lurus, J Powell, better late than never. Indeed, indeed. Man, I was hoping we get more strawberries. I guess we ate more than <laughs> more than I thought. <laughs> it's only a minute long. Okay, so it must be some of them. It must be some of them. Nice, little uh, simmer, little simmer, little simmer. Uh, maybe nice. I'm on it, Chicho. I'll look it up and get back to you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And if you can, link it up on our Gilded. Link it up on Gilded server. I don't know where, but wherever you want. Art. Art. ASMR. ASMR. Evil X. How you doing, Chicho? Doing well, Evil X. Thank you very much. Enjoying uh, making strawberry jam. Cheryl had to get out of the car twice to move uh, down limbs wow wow on the way off the uh, off the mountain a little hairy but we needed the rain wow 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 serious business serious business Nicholas linked up the one of the, one of the videos awesome <laughs> oh I gotta take the gilded thing though uh, gang I've been drinking beer I gotta go do a pit stop I'll be right back I gotta take my bib off I'm gonna because I'm not going to be here, I'm going to turn this down and I'm going to move it over just in case. It, it's not going to do, but just in case.
If he has outside gang, I'm just gonna go check up on him, make sure he's all good. Let's bring this back. Oh no, he's right here. He's just chilling there. Let's see if you guys can see him. They got multiple places of they're chilling. Let me take this down, hold on. Boop. Can you see him there? He's there. And here comes Sal, is he going? Oh no, he's coming over here. Sal's in the hovering mood. They're not getting pets right now. Have to post here as I have been locked out of guild. Oh, you've been locked out of guild. What? What? Liquidy. But we are reduced, we have reduced it a fair bit. So let's try out. Let's try this out. Check it out. So it's a little liquidy. Right? That's the oven hitting 300. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Oof, addictive. Dangerous. Dangerous. That's very dangerous. You could polish this off. Moose Brain salutations, what's up Chicho and chat, salute Moose Brains. Nicholas, the link I posted says AI, but the paintings are actually his. Cool. There are long videos by other creators showing the journey. I just posted the short one uh, for Quickenex. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, gang, we forgot, we forgot, we forgot. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. We'll send Julian Assange a gigantic package of Chicho made jam when he's free. Watermelon taste already? No, Nicholas. It's too early. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let that curl a little bit more. Kafconi, got to got to get going, Chicho. Enjoy the rest of your stream, my friend. Catch you next time. Catch you next time, Kafconi. Caf Kafoni. <laughs> Salute. Are the melons as tasty as they look? They weren't bad. They were okay. They were okay, Plutonic Pullers. They could have been better. They could have been better. Well, he's saying, Nicholas is saying, try the. What you two cats doing here? You guys got lots of food. Do you not know you have food? Come here. Let's check you out. Oh my god, you got so much. You guys want wet food. That's what you want. Okay, I'm gonna give the kitty cats wet food. Hold on a second. Where is their stuff? Okay, come on. You guys want wet food. Boop, boop.
This is Salio. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, okay? Off you go. Come on. Come on. And here's Via. Wash your hands well if you're handling kitty cats. When you're making jam. Or involved with the with the kitchen. Nicholas Chicho, just an initial taste to see uh, what you think. But give it two weeks before you sco um Score, score it is what I mean. Okay, done deal. Let's have a little taste. Let's have a little taste. I'm going to put the lid on this. That's reduced enough. I'm going to leave that open. But we've got to be careful on it, right? Let's try this out. Check it out. Here's a strawberry. I can't see it tasting good right now. Let's check it out. There's little seeds here. Just a little taste. It's not, you can still taste the uh, vodka. Right, it's uh, the the smell of the the melon and the vodka hasn't merged yet. And they're distinct, right? So I'm assuming this is going to be pretty harsh. Whew. Harsh, but I can see where it goes, Nicholas. Brilliant. This is going to taste really good, and the sweetness is good. The sweetness is good. Oh, this is going to be really good. This is going to be all strawberry level good, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see where right now is separate. The melon and the vodka flavor, they're not merged together yet. But you can definitely see it already merging. Very nice. Very nice. Nicholas, I thought you would like. Uh, I know... It's harsh now, but let it settle. Yeah, like it's it's not too harsh that you can pound, you can you can go crazy on this. Like literally, just that little amount of time has taken the oof, away from the vodka, where you can actually sit down right now and go crazy. You shouldn't, <laughs> because it is vodka. <laughs> like it doesn't have that forty percent. Uh, taste right super good super good very nice very nice matka <laughs> watermelon Mat matka <laughs> salute gang salute okay i'm gonna kick up the temperature on the water here for the lids this is kirkling nicely And what we're going to do, we're going to start jarring. Wow, look at this. This is like... Oh. Scraping the goodness off that. Look at that. And we're going to put it here and we're going to bring a spoon. And we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of... Saving 
deliciousness. <laughs> Not much, but <laughs> good enough. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I gotta taste this. This is gonna be hot. Look at this. Look at this. That's like concentrated. Look at that. Is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? This would go in the most amazing bakery as a filling, like for some pastry. <laughs> oh my god, I want it! <laughs> it's so good. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, I gotta put this water my own way too. Wow, that was good. Put this in the first two. Okay, we gotta get get down to business. Into jarring. Mm, I'm gonna put the lid on this. Let's give this a little whirl. We gotta get more straw. <laughs> this is like ghetto. <laughs> it's like ghetto strawberries. <laughs> Strawberry damn, that's not much. Uh, Nicholas, I found watermelon absorbs the vodka very quick compared to other uh, liqueurs that took many months uh, or more to settle okay cool the one thing with the watermelon i never started making is because when i was younger people were like oh watermelon and vodka they <laughs> they grab a watermelon poke a hole in it thank you very much for the follow baked uh, baked and afraid 420 <laughs> salute have you seen our uh cannabis harvest videos <laughs> Taking down the buds that we grow in the grow in the patio, uh, but one one reason I hesitated on making the watermelon was because when I was younger in high school and stuff like this, people used to take oh watermelon vodka, they crack open a watermelon, put a little hole in it, and then dig out some of the watermelon and pour vodka in it, right? And then you know they wait like five minutes and they go try this. Oh my like, man, that's just straight up vodka. What the f, right? Yeah, yeah, baked and afraid, 100%. If we're in the patio, I show you my cannabis plants right now. They're budding. Oh, they look great. <laughs> they look good. They look good. I like the movie Half Baked Platonic. Yeah, it's a fun movie, man. Dave Chappelle all the way. I'm pretty sure that's Dave Chappelle one, right? Okay, gang, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. So let's bring this these guys out. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move this. My utensils. Let's raise this up. Uh, where's the other guy? Uh, oh, here it is. Hello, hello, Scoop. 
Gog. Salute. Oh, we're down to our last little sip. Welcome to our live stream. Let's kick this up. That's good. Let's kick that up. Let's make sure we're stabilized. We are, we are. Let's put this baby down. Nice. J Dave Chappelle and Jim uh, Brewer. Nice. Are you from Quebec? I am from BC, West Coast, Canada. We need our glove. Okay, where's the kitty cats? We've got to close this door. We don't want any drafts hitting us. Where's the kitty cats? Oh, one of them is here. Ontario. I've lived in Ontario for a bit. <laughs> Dora says, forget it. It's so full of stain. I lived in Ontario for uh, five and a half years. Waterloo, Kitchener, Toronto. Went to Stratford Festival three years in a row. Amazing times, amazing times. Nice. It's nicely kicked up. Ray for Alberta. Ray for Alberta, indeed. Toronto. I lived on uh, the first first time I ever lived in Toronto. Shelburne and uh, oh, what was it? Downtown Shelburne, and just across the bridge from uh, Greek Town Shelburne and Bl no Young Young Blur. I can't remember. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. We need, we need, we need, you know what? I'm gonna move this guy. I'm gonna move this guy. Okay. Gang, let's do. I'm not gonna be reading the chat for a while, but gang, okay? Gotta take care of this stuff. Got everything done, got everything done, got everything done. Okay. We do gang. Let's do little guys first. We need to make space. Oops. We need to make space. These are fresh jars. Okay. So they shouldn't be, they shouldn't crack. Just to let you know, these little guys, I keep on forgetting to do this guy. I always forget to bring a wet towel, wet napkin. These little jars are harder to seal because they're little, they don't have enough volume, right? So what happened with the last batch of blackberries I made, I actually had to bring in the cold water or boiling water pot thing. Had to put them in there to seal them up, okay? Let's make a bunch of these little guys. Auction is coming up. Oh, there it is.
I'm gonna make some little guys and then we'll make some big guys. Or bigger guys. These are 125 mil. That's exactly what I want the Kirkland. Nice. Remember, don't go too tight with the lid, right? Just enough to let it keep the, the lid in place. Number four. Yeah, we yeah. Let's do one more 125 and then we're going to kick it up to 250s. Okay. <laughs> I've been busy today, so I haven't been able to give the kitty cats cuddles so they're like come on just come on oh, let's do this. match the color let's do 250s These ones are going to go a little slower so they don't crack. One of the cats wants jam, Nicholas says. We do spoil our cats, no doubt, no doubt. But we do have strict guidelines as well. Fantastic. We're gonna, we need to get more strawberries.
one, there's a couple of jars going to be auctioned. Some of these initially, the first ones might be a little bit more liquidy than the later ones because you can see this guy is not sinking in anymore. Let's do another little guy. These are amazing as gifts. Or auctions. And the temperature of the oven is at 300, okay, gang? Just so you know. And that's Fahrenheit. Mm, I should have put on my bib or apron. And this part you do want to do fairly fast, so it seals, uh, so it seals properly. Okay. Let's do a 500. Bigger jars are more prone to cracking, so hopefully we. And you got to do this slow. Let's do another 500.
Just because it might not be sterilized anymore, it might have been a little like little something got on there. Put it away. Close that baby up. Not too tight, just like that's it. No pressure. Okay. 250. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. I like to get this. It sort of gets hypnotic for me. Where's the web shop link so I can buy a jar? Oh, we give these away during our yearly auctions. During our yearly auctions. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. For Julian Sage, we do 500. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we, me and you, our societies, our communities need desperately. For more information, See wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, where countless resources available on free speech platforms. Again, for Julian Assange. To Julian Assange. I'm going to pour myself some watermelon liqueur. <laughs> Let's bring this baby over because it tastes delicious. <laughs> I don't know what the fault does this, but we need something to salute to. Yes, we do. You know what? Since we did this, let's bring the vodka. There it is. Let's fill it back up again, right? Good stuff. So we almost used the 40 answer. Okay. Thanks, Nicholas. Again, salute to Julian Assange. Very nice, very nice. Gang, I'm gonna turn off the oven, okay.
Mm. Let's do 250. We got probably three 250s here, maybe four. Village on the rims, very nice. Just making sure it didn't crack. We're turning this off as well. Okay. This is, uh, how much is this? Yeah, there's a 250 in there. Nice, we did okay. You want to get the lid on there as fast as possible, but we haven't heard any jars pop yet. Salute, gang. Very good. Very good. Nicholas, the quickest liqueur taste ever. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> goes, goes, goes to show you, no matter how well you think you know something, no matter how long you've been doing something, new eyes come in and teach you something that you didn't know. Right? Amazing. Amazing time. Let's do a little guy. Let's see if we can even do a little guy. Oh, we're gonna fill up the little guy. <laughs> Look at this, just barely. It's not gonna seal, but it's okay. It's too shallow. Not enough. It very much so, Nicholas. Very much enjoying it. Indeed. Tastes really good.
very dangerous drink, by the way, Nicholas. Very dangerous drink. Now check this out. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hundred and twenty-five mils. Two, four, six, eight, two hundred and fifty mils, and three five hundred mils. So that's one point five. Uh, 250, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, uh, 3.5, uh, so 4.5 liters of strawberries we just got. Yeah, enjoy responsibly, enjoy responsibly, indeed. So we got 400, uh, what did it say? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four point five liters of strawberry jam. Four point five liters of strawberry jam, right? Uh, this baby here, we need to, uh, we need to eat because it's delicious now this is all stuck i'm gonna need a knife to clear that baby up let's see if we can do this should be a fairly easy clean because there isn't too much there's no pulp It's unfortunate we lose a little bit of the. Right. <laughs> Look at this. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. About eight pints of jam. Is that what it is? Eight pints? Now be careful eating out of the pot directly like this because if it's not cooled down, it'll be crazy how you burn your tongue, man. Mm, look at that. Very good. Delicious. <laughs> it's too good. Hold on a second. Oh, missed the knife. Forgot to put up the chat for the thing, Magic. Or Rumble. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Okay, this is all dried on there now. I can't get it off. No. Not possible. Not worth it. Because it'll scratch the pot, right? Very nice. And then all you gotta do, whatever you got left over, oh, there's some here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check this out. We can munch on this for sure. Let me turn this guy off. Da, 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 da. Oops. Oops, that's not what I want. That is what I want. Check this out. Ooh. See that? We can munch on that. Very yummy. Look at that foamy goodness. Nine point five American pints. So four point five liters is nine point five American pints or eight UK pints. 
British pints. Very nice. Whoever wins one of these jars, we'll probably put, I don't know, we'll see how many auctions we can do. Whoever gets the jam, strawberry jam jars uh, for the auctions, the Twitch auctions we're going to do, is going to be pretty happy. If you like strawberries, and that is amazing. And if we could mail li liquor, uh, we would definitely do liqueur mail the ways but we can't now the god i'm still coming for the signed book in november i don't think jam will get past the gestapo custom here it won't get past the gestapo custom crazy signed book we got a tamara lich signed book we got awesome awesome by the way gang um i had two comic book hauls come in one of them i picked up i want and the other one came in so most likely tomorrow we'll do a comic book haul or maybe on monday elder god's birthday or um uh and then i got another one coming in before we do the outro i gotta go beer washroom i'll be right back nice i had to uh do a pit stop halfway through the jarring but i couldn't stop the jarring <laughs> right <laughs> nice and uh by the way regarding comic book calls yesterday i just won a whole bunch of auctions uh dropped a fair bit of coin like around how much was it over 400 dollars canadian on uh, a comic book haul uh, and i should have that maybe in a week in 10 days or so and uh once we get it we're gonna do a comic book haul it's a, it's a good comic book haul amazing deals amazing deals right if it is what it is fingers crossed right oh my god i'm still coming for the uh oh, signed book yeah 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 the terror lynch signed book uh, my grin was from here to here for like three days right platonic colors uh how we many fluid ounces how many many fluid ounces or gills of jam do we have yet uh for strawberry we got 4.5 liters which is eight pints uh uk and 9.5 pints american yeah 400 bucks plus on ebay including shipping and tax right yeah yeah it's a good haul it's unique it's different than what i've been buying before Fingers crossed, it is what it is. <laughs> Tonic Pros, we can make a sparsely closed video conference. <laughs> Warm and loose salutations, hope you're doing well. You celebrating 30 days of uh, bourbon? 30 days of bourbon? What's this? 30 days of bourbon? I'll, I'll join. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Salute, gang. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> Nicholas, if you're still here, this is crazy dangerous. I can see what it tastes like within tomorrow. <laughs> like, I should have made a bigger jar than that. September is 30 days of bourbon? How come no one told me this? What's going on? We're on day 9 already. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on here? I don't have any bourbon. I gotta go get some bourbon. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. Funny, funny, Nicholas. Oh dear. What have I done? What have you done? What have you done? No, I'm gonna take it easy. Really. Gotta take it easy. But super delicious, man. Super delicious. Uh, watermelon liqueur. I got a feeling you have to drink the watermelon sooner rather than later. Right? It might turn mushy. No good. Must make sure you don't destroy the water. How long have you kept the watermelon liqueur going for? More than a week? <laughs> Salute, gang. Delicious. Very good. Very good. What's imperial fluid ounces? What's imp uh, only in England? Only in England. Is that what it is? Imperial fluid ounces? Uh, I don't, like, there's metric, there's imperial, but then within imperial, there's different fluid ounces in the US and the UK. So it's wacko wacko. Cheryl, what if you keep it in the fridge? maybe i don't know i got a feeling it might ma maintain its integrity right because it is sort of preserved in sugar the shell should suck in the sugar and the alcohol we'll see it's an experiment if we see it start going mushy we might just do have to do a marathon on the leak here hilarious gang let's call the stream let's call the stream that was fun that was super fun not bad not bad it was how long did we start the three hour stream that's pretty good that's pretty good nicholas chicho i would say it would do a month before it turns slushy uh not bad but not l longer um longer uh liquid texture okay thanks for my pleasure lonely picky so month see f We'll see. I'm gonna see how long I can we can keep this going. Um, that's uh, third of a uh, let's say third. Let's say quarter of a forty ouncer. So that's ten ounce. Well, we could drink that. But the problem is the is the watermelon. That's a lot of watermelon that's sucked in a lot of alcohol. We gotta throw a party. That's the solution. <laughs> Nicholas, thanks for the stream. My pleasure. My pleasure, gang. Gang, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed. I know I know I did. And we got strawberry jams out of it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you want to know what this work is about, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You're definitely welcome to join us there. We do have a gilded server. You're most definitely welcome to join us there. We will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bit shoot to rumble and odyssey and we are live streaming on twitch and on rumble for now i've heard bit shoot's gonna start uh, allowing live streaming and if when it does we're on there right away okay so hopefully we'll be live streaming on bit shoot soon and once we do that hopefully uh we can add pill and kick and odyssey as well i've been meaning to do odyssey as well but we're gonna have to use a website to live stream everything but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes uh gang tomorrow we got movie club live stream uh let's pick some movies thank you all to god to watch and discuss them in a future video asmr format september 10th 2 p.m pdt my time west coast canada united states we start that's tomorrow sunday okay you're definitely welcome to join us for the live stream and on monday we'll be here at 1 p.m west coast pacific time to chill on the patio smoke a cigar and celebrate old god's birthday and maybe drink some watermelon liqueur <laughs> which you are testing now they're testing now also 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 and cheryl the markets near me still use uh pecs pecs what are pec oh like measurements and gang uh, starting soonish, we're gonna start uploading all of our, uh, you know, politics, 
patio uh, economics anything i'm not moving around uh, the audio to soundcloud again as podcasts uh, so you can definitely follow us there or your favorite podcasting platform. We should be there. We should be there. Uh, remember to bring your movie picks. Indeed, gang, if you're going to come tomorrow uh, to the movie stream, pick a movie you want to recommend. We're going to do heats. We're going to uh, sort of do polls. And we're going to pick uh, a few movies to watch, to discuss for a future live stream. Okay. Uh, we are on Twitter, we're on Minds, we're on Getter, we're on Gab, we're on VK, we're on Substack Notes. Not sure how long we'll be on Twitter for if they implement the photo ID crap in the World Economic Forum. You're, <laughs> you're our serpent, you know, whatever it is, but we'll keep this uh, sensor tube uh, friendly, okay? Uh, aside from that gang, we'll talk about I will try to limit <laughs> limit it to 200 movies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gang, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. I did. It was fantastic. I got strawberries eating. The, like, uh, so good. So good. I still haven't had my fill yet, though. I'm going to keep on eating strawberries until I get my fill. You get one. Just one. Cheryl says, awesome. You get one. You, you can recommend gang if we're running low there aren't too many people maybe we could do two <laughs> gang see you tomorrow if you can make it salute everyone and gang salute to the mods always 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 cheers gang